maybe the confidence first is always external, which gives you that little bit of courage to take that first step. And then the process of taking that first step towards discomfort, that first step towards uncertainty gives you the confidence to take the next step gives you the confidence to have the courage to take the next step gives you the confidence that gives you the courage to take that next step gives you the confidence to take that or to have the courage to take that next step. And the next thing you know, you turn around and you realize that this confidence is self-confidence. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! All right, flying solo again, lone wolf, episode 106 of the Sales Wolves podcast. And this episode is titled Courage and or Confidence. I got a question uh, last week on Facebook and I wanted to really unpack it on the podcast today because I think it's super important. I think you guys will... Um, take something away from it, maybe a new perspective and ultimately, hopefully some value uh, that you can implement it into your life. The question was regarding confidence and courage. And someone asked me, can you share your view on what you believe is more important when taking a big leap into discomfort, courage or confidence? So let's kind of break that down. So Taking a big leap into discomfort. You guys know we talk more than anyone about always embracing discomfort, seeking discomfort. But as you go to seek discomfort, as you go to embrace discomfort, there's fear, anxiety, stress, worry, uncertainty, all natural parts of the process of getting outside of your comfort zone. It's a difficult process because all things that are worth doing are difficult. So back to the question, which is more important, courage or confidence? So I looked up the definitions of each of those words and I'll start with courage. Courage is the ability to do something that frightens one. Strength in the face of pain or grief. Confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. Firm trust. A couple other definitions underneath confidence. The state of feeling certain about the truth of something. A feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. So, which is more important? courage or confidence when embracing discomfort. This may be the wrong way to answer this question, but I believe it's the right way to look at the answer. And that is you cannot have courage in the face of fear. You cannot have courage in the face of uncertainty. You cannot have courage taking this big leap into discomfort without first having the confidence to do so. So that could mean that confidence is most important or it could just mean that it's a combination of the two, but in order to do anything great in order to embark on anything that's going to be difficult in order to embrace or seek discomfort, you will have to first build your self-confidence to the point at which you are willing to have the courage to leap. 
and confidence can can come from many places certainly the word that comes to your mind quickly is self-confidence and that should be very easy to understand of where that comes from self-confidence comes from yourself but i've been at times in my life where my confidence was at an all-time low and having the confidence of some mentors around me gave me the courage to face uncertainty to to embrace discomfort so confidence can be fed from an external source you can have a a business partner a spouse a significant other a mentor um a parent a sibling they can breathe confidence into you and you can use that confidence to give you the courage to do what you need to do ultimately though over time, it will be from building self-confidence in yourself that will ultimately give you the courage that you need to succeed. But if we unwrap that, I mean, really, maybe the courage first, or sorry, maybe the confidence first is always external, which gives you that little bit of courage to take that first step and then the process of taking that first step towards discomfort, that first step towards uncertainty gives you the confidence to take the next step, gives you the confidence to have the courage to take the next step, gives you the confidence that gives you the courage to take that next step, gives you the confidence to take that or to have the courage to take that next step. And the next thing you know, you turn around and you realize that this confidence is self-confidence. So maybe at first you do need help if your confidence is low from a mentor, from a partner, from a spouse. But by using that confidence to give you the courage to go and step into that uncertainty, it builds the self-confidence that, Hey, I've, I've done this once I can do it again. I've drummed up the courage to make this leap once. I bet I can do it again. What's the worst thing that can happen? And all of a sudden you start creating this self-confidence, this confidence from within, this inspiration to go and do it on your own. So which is more important? I think they're both necessary in order to truly embrace discomfort. In order to truly step outside your comfort zone and do something that you've never done before. And so what, what is my challenge coming out of this podcast? This is a short podcast, a really quick, just nugget of information, a different perspective that I wanted to give you guys today. But what's my challenge coming out of this? My challenge is that when your confidence is at an all time high, someone else needs you. And when your confidence says, is at an all time low, you need someone else. And to understand that that's the way the world works, call it reciprocity, call it karma, call it reaping and sowing. If you're listening to my voice right now, if you're watching this video right now and you feel like your confidence is high, then start looking around you to find others that don't, that aren't in that same fortunate position and start breathing confidence into them. Give them the courage to step into their discomfort. Give them the courage to step into whatever uncertainty that they're facing. And if you're listening to my voice or you're watching this video and your confidence is at an all time low, look around you, find someone else that's confidence is high and have a conversation with them. Explain what's going on and tell them that you need help building your confidence back. But it's by having these open conversations with one another. It's by the willingness of the person to be able to give that confidence. And it's the vulnerability of the person to be able to ask for help that will ultimately lead for together everyone achieving more. As a group of people, us being able to do better, grow bigger, 
and make an impact. So wherever you are today, confidence is at an all time high confidence at an all time low. I'll leave you with the Winston Churchill quote. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. It is the courage to continue that counts. So whether it's at an all time high or at an all time low, keep showing up and look around you. Be vulnerable enough to ask for help and be a good enough person to offer that help when you see a need. Guys, with that, this is episode 106 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!